All right, how's everybody doing? I have a new project for you today. We are going to be making macrame planters with a jar and some yarn. Um, and they look like this, they're hanging. And this one, I've already got the seeds planted, so we'll see if they grow. Um, but you've got these little loops that you can hang it up near the window. So here you can see the whole thing over here. And it's actually pretty easy. You don't need very much. You need either macrame string or some really thick yarn, um, some scissors, a ruler, and some kind of jar or sort of planter type of a thing. So this is just a pickle jar that I took the label off of and washed it and cleaned it up. Um, and if we are reusing a jar, it's a great way to recycle but you might have some trouble getting the label off. A little bit of nail polish remover on a cotton pad and just a little bit of scrubbing on where that label was will help get the rest of that residue off and you'll have a nice clean jar to use. So you need to start off with four pieces of your string or your yarn that are six feet long and that's where you need the ruler. So you're gonna measure out four pieces that are six feet. Um, I have already done that and I actually did two pieces in the white and two pieces in the green so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. So we're gonna set these off to the side. So once you're done with the ruler and the scissors, you can put them off to the side. So I have folded my four pieces in half and found the middle. And on that middle, I'm going to take and tie those strings all together and make a knot. I just want to pull nice and tight and you want to leave a pretty good size loop. So that's about a two to three inch loop at the top. That's where we're going to be hanging our planter from. And then I like to just pull on each of the strings to make sure it's nice and tight. Then what you want to do is you want to divide them up two strings at a time. And I did the two colors so that we can have alternating strings to be able to see. So you can lay it out nice and flat and sort of divide your strings out like they are compass points, like that. Okay, so we've got our knot tied at the top and I've just taken my strings and paired them up and spread them out so that you can see them separately. What you wanna do is take each pair and we're gonna tie a knot in those two strings. So we're gonna tie those together. We wanna to do it about 10 inches from this knot. So I'm just gonna take my ruler and measure that. And it's okay if it's not exact, but you want it pretty close. And even more importantly, you want your knots pretty much lined up with each other. So I'm gonna tie one knot using my ruler to measure it. And then I'm going to use that knot as a guide for all the rest. Okay, so they're pretty close. They're not exact, but that's okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna spread them apart a little bit. You wanna make sure they're not crossed over each other. Okay, and I'm going to take, you wanna make sure they're all nice and straight. I'm going to take one string from each pair and tie them together. And it works better if it's the string that's closest to the other one. So I'm gonna pair these two together and then those two and those two and then these two will go together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each set of strings and about two to three inches below 
our other knots, so that's about two inches, I'm going to tie those together in a knot. And if you're way off with your knot just before you pull it tight, just adjust where your spacing is. Okay. And then bring the two end ones together and make a knot. And what that's going to do is that is going to complete your circle of the first row. So now it won't be as easy to spread them out. Okay. So. We're going to do another row of knots, but this time we're going back to our original pairs. So you can just match up your colors together. And you want to make sure that you're not crossing them over. So it's a little trickier now because you do have to make sure you're working in a circle with your strings. That same thing, we're just making a knot about two inches below our last knot. Okay. And then we're going to go back and do another set where we're mix matching them. So it's really the main important thing is to make sure you're getting the string that's next to where you're working instead of the one that's across. Because if you go across, you're going to get all tangled. So you want to make sure you're using the strings that are closest to each other. So one more set of knots here. And that's based on the size of my jar. You want to do... A knot or a set of knots for almost every two inches of jar height. And your first knot is going to start at the top, so you wouldn't count that as two inches. Um, just to make sure you're making an area that's going to be secure. You don't want to not have enough space and then have your jar fall out. So for our size jar, this should be good. So we got those four knots done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my strings together and tie them in one big knot. Again, about two inches or so below my last set of knots. You want to make sure you pull it nice and tight. And I find it helps if I just take each individual string and pull it tight when I'm doing so many strings in one knot. Okay. So you've got all of your knots tied. We're going to come back and I'll show you just how to slip the jar in. Okay, so got all of our knots tied. I'm going to hold it by the loop at the top. And then I'm just going to take my hand and kind of put it into that space and open it up. And so it's kind of like a little tube. So once I figured out where that is, I can just take my jar and push it right in there. And I want to make sure I push it down so it's really secure. 
that knot's coming out in the middle of the bottom of the jar. And you can either leave it like this, you can trim them so they're all the same length, you can kind of fray this, um, it's up to you. But now your jar is good to go. If you want to put a plant in it, you just take your jar out, put your potting mix in there, um, you can put a few rocks down at the bottom to help with drainage, potting mix, and then put your plant in or put your seeds in and help them grow. Um, and you want to make sure your soil is nice and damp. You don't want to do dry soil because then your seeds won't have anything to grow with or your plants won't have anything to grow with. Um, or if you don't want to put a plant in there, you can use it as sort of a utensil holder. You could hang it up near your desk. Um, it could go in the kitchen underneath a cabinet. And then you can just put like your spatulas and things in there, but it's a good little handy hanging device. Um, so you've got that and it looks pretty cool with the two colors or you can do like the one I showed you earlier that has all one color, it's up to you. Okay, have fun making it. Let us see what she did.